Hey, what's up, you little freaks? How's it going? It is another day and another part to my Zodiac series. And guess what we're doing today? Aquarius. Oh, yes. And I know how to say that one correctly, too. Boom. So with Aquarius, I think I'm going to go for like a dead mermaid vibe. Not a siren, but a mermaid. We're going to be nice, but dead. Okay? Yeah, let's get it started. And today's shout out is going to Mads1000. Go ahead and follow this little freak, you guys. So to get started with the makeup, I decided to glue down my eyebrows as always and drew on some new ones. Oh yes, but this time I used my CC Beauty palette to make the ends blue because we be mermaids. And to go with the theme, I did some blue eyeshadow as well using this really cool electric palette. I just packed some dark blue into the crease and then made a little wing and blended some more lighter blues in there, you know, just a lot of blue. That's kind of the vibe. And did my eyeliner and lashes. Oh, yes. And then it's time for the liquid latex and wax. I made little tiny dots or big circles with the liquid latex on my face and stuck little balls of wax onto them. And then I blended them out with um, a Q-tip that had Vaseline on it because that's the way I do it. My fingers be too big to blend them out. And yeah, I just kept making little tiny barnacles on my face the same way, making them different sizes and uh, different like clusters of them as well to make it look kind of natural. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I just did that. And after I was happy with the amount of barnacles on my face, I started making some holes in them with the same Q-tip. Oh yes, trypophobia warning, guys. And I made all the holes different sizes, just like the barnacles are. Yeah. And then I made some smaller balls out of wax and put them inside the bigger barnacles because that's what the reference pictures had, but I don't know what those things are. And then using a toothpick, I added some more texture to the bigger barnacles to make them look more real. Oh yeah. And using some more latex, I went over all the edges of all the barnacles just to make sure they stay on my face. And then after all the latex was dry, I started doing my foundation, making sure to carve out my eyebrows and everything like that. And uh, using a smaller fluffier brush, I went over the barnacles with my foundation as well. And of course, I could never forget to set my whole face with some powder, making sure to not forget our little barnacle friends. And then using some eyeshadow, I shaded in my lips blue, making them lighter towards the corners and darker towards the middle. And honestly, I have no idea why I decided to use eyeshadow instead of cream paint. It would have been so much easier, but you know, it'd be what it'd be. And then using some pinkish, brownish eyeshadow, I shaded all the barnacles that color i'm really great at explaining colors but yeah i shaded around the barnacles as well to make them look a little bit messy kind of like they're coming out of my face you know yeah <laughs> and then using a small brush and the brown from my cc beauty palette i shaded in all the holes of all the barnacles um yeah because they're they have holes in them and then i made more little dots around the barnacles as well to make them look even more messy oh yes we love we love us some holes yeah and then I put some more of those little dots all over my face and on my neck as well to tie it all together. I also used some black to make some of the holes appear deeper and darker. And then using some white for some highlights, I went over the edges of the barnacles and I also covered the little balls inside of the barnacles because some of them got covered with the brown. So I wanted to make sure it stands out. Oh yeah. And using that same white, I drew the Aquarius symbol on my lips. And I know some people were saying that Aquarius is not a water sign and I shouldn't be doing a water thing. But um, I'm taking a more literal approach to it. So it's Aquarius. It's like a man who pours water. So that's why I'm going with a dead mermaid. Same thing I did for the Leo makeup where it's like scratched by a lion. I'm not really looking at the elements. I'm looking at more of the sign as a whole. Yeah, just wanted to clear that up. Either way, back to the makeup. I used the CC Beauty palette and took the blue out of it to make some tears. And yeah, I drew those bad boys on my face and then I shaded them with a darker blue and highlighted them with a white. Pretty straightforward, eh? 
And I also wanted to do something real fun with my hair. And I basically did a half ponytail and then I made that top part really, really, really messy. And I just kept pulling and pulling to the point where it looks kind of stupid, but I decided to go with it. So I wanted to do something with the bottom of my hair too. So I braided the leftover hair. And after the braids were done, I twisted those up and bobby pinned them to my scalp. I also thought that my face wasn't blue enough, so I decided to do some contouring, but with blue. Yeah, love that. Anyways, back to the hair. I found these cute little hairsprays at Target. They're from L'Oreal, and I used the silver and the purple one because they were out of blue. And I did the top of my hair with silver, and I did the braids with purple. The purple and the silver did not stain my hair at all. However, I did use the red color from them, and the red stained my hair for a day, which I did not mind at all. But if you have lighter hair, or if you have bleached hair, and you use the red one, it might stain your hair, so please be aware. And to finish off the look, I popped in some white scary contact. And I know my eyes are blue and they go with a look, but I do not want to look cute. I want to look scary. Therefore, scary contact. Period. And well, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look. I think this is really fun. I love the little barnacles on my face. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. But no pressure though. No pressure. You live your own life, man. Have an amazing day, y'all!